A car accident has ruined Lee Seo Fan's family as her husband went to a vegetative state. Liu Seo Fan also lost movement capabilities due to falling. Volunteers arrived to clean her body, then sending her to a nursing home for physical recovery. After Liu Seo Fan passed away, volunteers continued to care for her son. An unfortunate car accident has torn Lee Seo Fan's family apart. Her husband had a car accident and lives in a hospital. He's in a vegetative state right now. The family relies on a husband for income, and the husband also cooks meals for the family. As these situations got worse, Li Xiufen fell in her home since her legs got weaker. Li Xiufen, after falling, is forced to stay on a chair all day. And since her 16-year-old son doesn't know how to take care of his mother, she has to urinate on the spot. After receiving a notification from neighbors, volunteers arrived to clean Li Xiufen's body. At that time, my body was very dirty. But the volunteers were not afraid to clean my body. Volunteers discovered bed sores on Li Xiufen's body, thus a team of doctors are arranged to treat her. Volunteers also found a nursing home for Li Xiufen, allowing her to rest and recover. Volunteers also made visits to the nursing home to care for Li Xiufen. Besides caring for her body conditions, volunteers made sure to comfort her heart. In January this year, Li Xiufen passed away peacefully. Her husband also passed away three weeks after, leaving the son alone in the house. Since Li Xiufen has moved in difficulties, no one in the household is able to deal with the trash as volunteers made plans to clean up the house. Due to the movement control order, the plan was delayed until the restriction was uplifted. After visits were allowed, volunteers arrived to clean and bring care to Li Xiufen's son. The hardest part is to deal with the trash, because there's a lot of it. Some items are left over for too long and produce bad smells. We need more people to clean up the house. Since Li Xiufen's son isn't 18 years old yet, he cannot stay at home alone. If no one adopts him, he will be taken into custody by the Department of Social Welfare. Due to this, volunteers tried to find a better location for Li Xiufen's son. I am grateful today because the teacher and some other people discussed in regards to the children's whereabouts. They decided to send the child to an orphanage and will continue to care for the child in the future. From Li Xiufen to her son, volunteers continued the love and care for this family, becoming a heartwarming force in the society. Doing good deeds is the mission of Suji volunteers. Let us hope that more people in need can be helped.